Hi everyone, this is Deb from Deb Web Art. So I decided to dive back into my Pantone markers, which I I must say I really enjoy. I enjoy the juiciness of these. They are great. But the one thing I don't enjoy, and this is just me because it's markers, is that, you know, they're not as easy to blend. So if you think about it, I'm, I've been mostly doing acrylic paintings and I do, um, you know, uh, pastels and oil pastels and all those sorts of things. All of them, and watercolour, all of them have the ability to blend, right? So then when you take up markers and you, yeah, <laughs> you can't blend them so easily. Um, if you can, I'm just obviously not there yet, but this is me just trying my best to do some blending, you know. Um, in some instances, they blend really well. Obviously, with the Pantone markers, you can use them on watercolour paper with um, with water, and they really blend beautifully. On this paper, this paper actually is Bristol paper, um, so it's like a vellum paper, and <clears throat> they seem to work quite well on that. Now, I got to a point where I could not blend the, that dark, that brown colour, and was trying really hard so that's why it was always good to have a scrap piece of paper nearby so you can actually do some blending and I must admit I took a brief look at it when I, when I was going through it thinking wow why is it that artwork has to go through such an ugly stage anyway the, this little chicken looks like it's tripped and fallen in the mud at the moment but uh, yeah I'm sure we'll uh, we'll fix it but yeah basically I just I got worked out which colors I was going to use before I started I had a little go on a mock one and then uh knew sort of what direction I was going in and yeah but it it it's still for me it's always a I always ask myself what are you doing uh when I use markers I think it's just me I have to get a little bit more confident in using them but uh, so then I decided to put some oil pastels down, some Van uh, Gogh um, oil pastels, and I actually I was qu I quite like these oil pastels. I'll be honest. I've got a few different types, and these ones were pretty good. So it was literally just to satisfy my my blending um, on this particular artwork. Then I grabbed some Amsterdam acrylic uh, pens, paint pens. And just a little dots, you know, like you've got that texture on the chicken's face and the, um, I don't know what you call that thing on the top of their head, but you get that texture, right? So I just did that. And then I grabbed some colored pencils, black and brown, just to do the eye and do a bit around it as well. Now this particular pen that I'm going around with was actually very fine. Um, I... I don't know whether I would have taken a, maybe a thicker one. Might have been better. I'm not sure. Uh, and this is one of the Jelly Roll pens. Just a white one. And same with the white paint pen or Amsterdam white paint pen. So it all worked out quite nicely. And because I had that little red mark, it was probably, you've noticed, um, I decided to just paint with some Amsterdam acrylic it's a blue of some some sort and mix it with a bit of white and then paint around the whole thing so just bringing it together in essence so it, I wasn't I wasn't too fussed with it at the end I thought no oh, actually it looks like a chicken <laughs> anyway and I call that a win and then of course you got to put your signature down there and it's all done I hope you enjoyed having a little look at the development of the chicken thanks for watching bye for now